IELTS Speaking Part 2 Topic Describe a book you would like to read in the future. What it is. Why you would like to read that book. Why you have never read it before. How you to think it can be compared to other books you have already read. One book I would like to read in the future is War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. This literary classic is renowned for its depth, complexity, and portrayal of Russian society during the Napoleonic era. The novel is often hailed as one of the greatest works of literature, and its sheer length and intricacy have intrigued me for a long time. The primary reason I am eager to read War and Peace is its reputation as a monumental work of fiction. The novel's exploration of themes such as love, war, and destiny has been praised by critics and readers alike. Furthermore, I have a keen interest in history, and this book provides a rich, panoramic view of Russian history, intertwined with the lives of unforgettable characters. Reading it would not only offer me a deep understanding of the historical period, but also a chance to witness Tolstoy's masterful storytelling. Despite my enthusiasm, I have never read War and Peace before, primarily because of its length. At over 1,200 pages, the novel is a daunting undertaking and I have often felt that I lacked the time or patience to commit to such a lengthy read. Moreover, the complexity of the narrative, with its multiple characters and interwoven storylines, has always seemed somewhat intimidating. However, I believe that as I have grown older and my reading habits have evolved, I am now better equipped to tackle such a challenging work. In comparison to other books I have read, War and Peace stands out due to its epic scale and its profound philosophical inquiries. For instance, I have read Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment, which, while also a deep and thought-provoking novel, is more focused on the psychological torment of a single character. In contrast, Tolstoy's novel is a sweeping narrative that examines the lives of a multitude of characters across different strata of society. Additionally, while books like Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen offer insightful commentary on social mores, they lack the historical breadth and grandeur that War and Peace promises. In summary, War and Peace is a book that I am both excited and apprehensive to read. Its length and complexity have deterred me in the past, but I am now ready to embark on this literary journey. I believe that reading it will be an enriching experience, offering insights that few other books can match. IELTS Speaking Part 3 Do you think reading habits have changed over time? Yes, reading habits have changed significantly over time. With the advent of digital technology, more people are reading ebooks and articles online instead of physical books. Social media and shorter forms of content, like blogs and tweets, have also influenced how and what people read. However, despite these changes, many still appreciate the depth and engagement that a good book can provide, especially when it comes to immersive stories or complex topics. What types of books are most popular in your country? In my country, self-help and motivational books are extremely popular as people often seek ways to improve their personal and professional lives. Fiction, especially romance and crime thrillers, also has a wide audience. Additionally, books on spirituality and religion are frequently read, reflecting the cultural and spiritual interests of the population. Educational books, including exam preparation guides, are in high demand among students. Do you think it is important to read books in their original language? Reading books in their original language can offer a more authentic experience, as it allows readers to appreciate the author's original style, tone, and cultural nuances. However, it isn't always necessary, especially if the reader is not fluent in that language. High-quality translations can convey the essence of the original text while making it accessible to a wider audience. Ultimately, the most important thing is the reader's ability to connect with the story and understand its themes. Why do you think some people prefer nonfiction over fiction?
Some people prefer nonfiction because they are interested in learning about real-world events, facts, and ideas. Nonfiction books provide knowledge, insights, and practical information that can be applied to daily life or personal development. For these readers, the appeal lies in gaining a deeper understanding of history, science, or current affairs, rather than escaping into a fictional world. The sense of acquiring useful knowledge often outweighs the enjoyment of a fictional narrative. How do you choose which book to read next? Choosing the next book to read often depends on my current interests and mood. I might select a book based on recommendations from friends, popular book lists, or reviews I've come across. Sometimes, I choose a book by a favorite author or one that fits a particular theme I'm interested in at the moment, such as historical fiction or a new bestseller. Additionally, I consider the length and complexity of the book, depending on how much time and mental energy I can devote to reading. What role do books play in education? Books are fundamental to education as they provide a structured way to learn new information, develop critical thinking, and explore diverse perspectives. Textbooks, for instance, offer a comprehensive understanding of subjects, while supplementary reading materials help students delve deeper into specific topics. Beyond textbooks, literature can also enhance language skills, foster empathy, and broaden students' worldviews. Books remain a cornerstone of education, despite the increasing use of digital resources. Do you think people will still read books in the future? Yes, I believe people will continue to read books in the future, although the format and medium may evolve. While digital books and audiobooks are becoming more popular, the fundamental desire to engage with stories gain knowledge, and experience different perspectives will persist. Even as technology advances, the unique experience of reading a book, whether in print or digitally, will likely remain a valued activity for many. How do books influence people's perspectives or beliefs? Books have a powerful influence on people's perspectives and beliefs by exposing them to new ideas cultures, and experiences. A well-written book can challenge preconceived notions, inspire empathy, and encourage critical thinking. For example, reading a novel set in a different culture can provide insight into that culture's values and struggles, leading to a broader and more nuanced understanding. Non-fiction books, particularly those on social or political topics, can also shape opinions and inspire action. Hope you liked our video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep us motivated.